Alright guys, so today I'm in this Honda Civic and it is the gen from 96 to 2000. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to remove this climate control. Now this climate control actually only came in the 1996 to 98. So if you have that year, this is a common problem. This climate tends to break a lot. So today I'll be showing you how to remove it as fast as possible. So we're going to start over here at the glove box. So. If you unlatch the glove box, you'll see that there's a screw up in here for this panel. And we need to get rid of this panel. In order to do that, what you do is you take your uh, your glove box and you just push in this, this uh, edge right here. If you push that edge in, it will bring out the uh, basically just the thing that's holding it in. And now you do it on the other side over here, pull it out, and it drops down like so. Now, you'll find two screws down here. So, as you can see, it's actually missing on this car. But, there's one screw up here on the right side, one screw down here. Now, if we come over here to the driver's side, we need to, in order to take this panel out, we need to take this panel too because it's covering it. So, what you do is, as you can see over here, right above these switches is a little little hole right here and there's a screw in there so if you take the screw out looks like this one's missing as well take that out and then there's one more down here right here as you can see there is a screw in there so take it out all right now that's free as you can see it comes right out and there should be a screw over here yep there is so there's a screw right there as you can see just down underneath your uh, signal switches so, we'll take that out, and that is free. Now, your panel should be free, and it pops free just like that. That's it. Nice and easy. Now, it exposes two more screws for this down here. Obviously, these are missing again, but that's all right. You get the point. So, there's one right there and one up there, and you need to remove those. And then, now we are almost done, except for up under the actual climate control there are two more screws this one is missing but there's one right here but you need to remove those as well so we'll remove it and now it's free then all you gotta do is it's kind of tight and you just gotta pull down on it from the top first and then slide, try and slide it out Sometimes it gives you a little bit of trouble, but you just got to wiggle it free just like that. Now, this one's missing it, but it will have the little cigarette lighter right here, and all you have to do is unplug it from the back. It'll plug super easy. Now, this is free. Now, if you just set it to the side for later, then you're good to start working on the climate control. All right, so first of all, up under the climate control, there are two screws, and they are both missing, of course, but... That is alright, so right there, can you see that hole? That is where your screw will normally be. And then there's another one right over here, very tucked up behind this, uh, um, this panel right here. So you gotta really search for them, but they'll be right there, and when you unscrew them, you're good to go. Now, we move up here, and you're going to need a flathead for this, so keep in mind, you need, you can use a drill, you don't really have to have a drill, but if you're lazy like me, then you can use a drill. But all you really need is a flathead and a uh, Phillips head, just to remove this climate. So now we'll take our flathead, and you just pry up on the hazard. Pry up on the hazard like so, and wedge it out. And that will come out, and then you just unclip it. So now, I, t I usually use a flathead because it's easier. But if you just push in on that tab and pull, it comes free just like so. Set that aside, we don't need that right now. Then, now you got the, I um, can't remember what this does, but you need to get rid of that as well. Push in the tab, pull it free, super simple. Now, you're gonna find that back in these corners, there are two screws holding it in. These ones are missing, but they'll be there. And if you unscrew those, I don't know if you can see way back in there, you're going to need kind of a long Phillips, but you'll be able to unscrew those, and that's very important. Then, 
the last screw that's holding this in is actually for the radio which by the way the radio is missing on this but that does not change how you pull to climb it it'll still pull just this exactly the same so back here as you can see right here so you've got your switch right here and you've got your little uh, lever right here um, it's right in the middle of that right here where this hole is there will be a screw so you need to pull that screw out and that's the last screw that's holding it in so now now that all the screws are gone now you can start by getting all these uh, plugs unplugged so I've got this brown one right here this one's always kind of a pain but if you just push in the right spot it'll come right out then there's one back behind this so I always like to move this so that it's exposed you see this green one right here so now that that is exposed we can pull that out by doing the same thing I always like to use my screwdriver because it makes it easier but you just pull it right out by pushing on the tab easy very simple now that's pretty much it other than this cord that's attached to the lever as you can see when you pull this lever it pulls on this and then that's what activates the fan back there so what we have to do is way back up in there you can see can you see right way up in there let's see I'm gonna put a flashlight to it so you can see it better all right so you see that right there it goes all the way back to there as you as you can see it's connected to there so all you gotta do is as, as you see that V shape that it makes all you gotta do is take your fingers oops I'm dropping my phone here but is you just take your fingers and you pull it out so just the whatever direction it's pointing you just take your thumb and pry it out boom and it comes right out and now this entire thing is free so that's pretty much the last thing that's the hardest part but once you do that this entire thing is free don't just go prying on it because these things are very fragile and you'll just break it into pieces and it makes it harder to pull what you want to do is take your flathead and pry from the vent the top where the vents are first because the vents are what's kind of clamped in so if you pry from the vents and get those to pop first so those pop free then the whole thing will slide out just like so and uh, that's that's the process there you go that's how you remove 1996 to 1998 Honda Civic climate control and radio bezel Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. Um, please like and subscribe if you liked our content because we will be putting out a lot more videos on how to pull parts just like this in many, many, many other cars. And also, if you have any other requests for parts you'd like to see on how to pull, uh, request it in the comments below and we will be sure to do a video about it.